So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second React tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can set up React.js environment to start working with it. And just as we have seen in Angular 2, we need to install some sort of stuff and dependencies to make use of ES6 and uh, kind of installing a light server as well so that we can just make use of the http protocol instead of files so that things like ajax request and all that good stuff works right so let's begin so first of all just go to your folder the react.js one and just open command window and one more thing if you haven't installed node for npm then uh, that's a problem because we're gonna make use of that so what I'm gonna do is create a video on that to how to set up node npm with command line and would we'll post a link in the description so if things like npm do not work for you if you do not see something like that then probably you have not configured npm properly to work with your command line and I'll just post a link in the description with the video so that you can just configure it with your computer right so once you have done that let's begin so just do an npm init first to create a package.js file so we're just gonna go with react.js description nothing let's just leave that all blank for now just put code down there yep okay so now our package.js file is created and then we need to install some dependencies and what these are are npm install webpack now webpack is essentially you can just think of this as you know it just combines all of your dynamic sort of stuff and just create static assets from it like if you have some javascript which are importing from one another or you know es6 sort of code so it will just help your all over the javascript to pass from es6 code to babel which will just transpile it to es5 and then it will just recombine that all that javascript and would we'll just prevent present you with one file for now so let's just install webpack and one more thing webpack would allow us to you know host a light server which is with webpack webpack dev server right uh, we need to install actually this as a developer one so that we do not you know actually need that on production then when it's done we'll need to install react i'm just gonna go ahead and install all the packages first and we'll set up the code later in the video so let's let us just install okay it looks like it's going to complete now anytime right so now the next thing we need to do is to install react and uh, we can just do that by npm install react and then react tom and again we're just gonna save it right and i should have actually installed babel with webpack only because <clears throat> that's gonna go in developer dependencies as well but anyways okay so we are done here as well so let's just finally install babel npm install babel core babel loader babel preset es2015 which is essentially es6 and then finally babel preset react right uh, this will just go in save dev as well okay fair enough so we have got all our modules ready now it's time to configure our webpack and uh, we can do that with the file webpack.config.json so let's just go ahead and create that so this is webpack.config.json and not json actually it's just js um, this is js right and here we'll just tell webpack what to do with what sort of data so i'm gonna say module dot module dot exports is an object uh, 
specify entry point and uh, why do we have that in pink okay so the entry point would be our main file and it's not an object it's just a file so it would be sort of like uh, i don't know let's just say this is script.js right and then we'll have the output output and this would be the directory and the file name of the transpiled version of this script. Let's just say this is um, path is just current folder only. And then the file name is, uh, um, let's just say transpiled.js or anything you want. Then I'm going to go with module, which will just include some loaders. Loaders which would essentially pass our script.js file to babel which would then create a new transpiled js file right so i'm gonna test for a dot js file and just escape the dot there and the loader would obviously be babel and we want to exclude the node modules right and you can just pass in a query object here as well otherwise you'll just need to create a babel rc file that's same thing if you want to do so let's just clean this up a little maybe and uh, wait a minute we have some brackets issues here yeah okay so let's just clean this up a little bit as well okay so we can now set presets to es2015 and this is just we telling babel to what it has to react to okay cool we are done here now let's just create our index.html file and uh, we're gonna include here What we have here transpile.js and I'm just gonna create a div ID of first app as well here just to show you a hello world right and uh, then finally what we need to do is create actually our script.js and remember that this file would automatically be created from this file only so we do not need to create that again and again so in our script what we are going to do is first of all import all the necessary things so i'm going to import react from react and i'm going to import react dom from react dom as well so once we have those two modules we can simply say for a very simple hello world program react dom dot render render and i'm just not gonna get into syntax right now i'm just gonna take a look at that later but just follow up with me for this crazy program so we're just gonna say h1 and hello world h1 there and we want to render it to document dot get element by id D, I guess the D is small, the first app, right? Uh, just stick with me, I'm just gonna explain this real soon, but this is just a hello world program for React. So, yeah, we are, looks like we are almost done. We can then finally in our package.js, so in, in the script, in the it section, we can say webpack dev server. Now we can just start with the hot flag so it just replaces all of our changes live. This one is it. And uh, we can just do something like uh, npm run it. Allow access. Okay, so it expects an absolute path. So what we can do is uh, inside our webpack.config, we can just var 
path is require path now we can say that this is path dot resolve um, dir name and then I don't know it's just let's just name it output only and then again we we'll just need to create an output folder here and put our index.html right there and then we'll just transpile.js yeah okay so all right so it says me that our project is running at uh, that's hard to read actually so let's just go ahead and try that you can see we get our first hello world program quite simply okay why the heck do we have index.js there then wait a minute okay so We can just leave this as that as it. Just reload, and you can see that it still works. So if I just sort of restart or npm run it, you can see that we are serving on localhost 8088. So that is how pretty much you do a hello world from React and uh, yeah, that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.